Good evening. Uh, welcome to my late night broadcast. <laughs> this is the latest I've done, it, done this in a long time. Um, this is episode number 523. The topic today, which I'm going to explore because I didn't have any plan beyond this, is what is authentic relationship? And of course, the second part is, would you want one? Which I'll add as the second part of the title after I sign off on this. Before I jump into my broadcast and talk about this topic, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find and create balance in love, life, and business. And every day for the last almost two years, I do these Facebook Live talks, which are eventually going to fit onto my YouTube channel as well, called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today, or should I say tonight, is episode number 523 and the topic because of what happened this weekend I'll talk about that as well is about what is authentic relationship and the second part which will be in the title afterwards is um, why would you want one so let me talk a bit about authenticity in the context of what I was in this weekend I spent this weekend had an incredibly powerful weekend um, actually and yesterday and today which is why I came a weekend is actually was four days Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday um, these two days being a leadership retreat <clears throat> but the context was around authentic leadership in life and in business. Um, powerful weekend at so many levels. I was grateful to be part of it and serving it as well. But it gave me pause to think about the, how to apply these principles to relationship because if you know my work, you know what I'm about. Relationships are where my heart lies in terms of helping people. I had some really powerful realizations myself about my own life and I'm not going to talk about those here. That's still the stuff I'm working through myself. But I want to speak about the idea about um, authentic relationship as I say because there's so much crap out there which is really what's going on so let me speak to some of the um, less than authentic relationship qualities out there you may have been in relationships in the past not now of course um, where there was a lot of lying going on or a lot of falsehood happening or some fakeness going on some some um, I say this politely some distinct lacking of integrity and authenticity happening. But that's kind of what I'm talking about. So let me speak more about it so you get some points. Being in a relationship, besides the fact it involves two people, has more to it than that. Part of that challenge of being in a relationship with somebody else is that you are going to be facing your own challenges. A healthy relationship is one where you have the opportunity to grow. And most people I know, if you just survey the population of the planet, probably at least two thirds of people in a relationship mm -hmm. want to be in a relationship that doesn't change. Where you get in a relationship and you settle down and it's static and stable and nothing changes. That's kind of how people want relationships. Frankly, <laughs> from my point of view, boring. You may not agree with that, but I'm just letting you my viewpoints on this. Relationship to me is something that is a continually evolving and growing experience that will challenge you, change you, and evolve you to be the best you, you can be. That's the sort of relationship I like to think of as being the ideal one, and what I call authentic, because an authentic relationship for me, and ideally maybe for you as well, is one where the walls come down more easily, where the pretense of being something you're not falls away, where being authentic is almost the same as being transparent, meaning that People will see you as you really are. No pretense, no hiding, mm -hmm. no defenses, nothing. Just yourself as you really are. Mm -hmm. Now for some of you, they're gonna go, yikes, I don't wanna be in a relationship like that. I wanna stay safe, I wanna stay hidden now. I don't wanna be part of that. That's your choice. But what I'm recommending, and yes, I'm recommending this, mm -hmm. if you wanna have an amazing relationship that goes beyond anything you've experienced before, anything you've experienced before, Signing up for a relationship that is authentic, that drives you to, <laughs> not to drink, but drives you to explore your own boundaries in which in case you get to learn who you really are, is a powerful, profound place to be. I'm just reflecting on, I'm, I'm mentioning, I'm thinking about tying this into a couple of things. There's, um, there's a replay that's up on my Facebook page tonight that um, a friend of mine, Lucia, and I had a, had a beautiful conversation a while back, finally released the broadcast. It's available today. It's on my one. I highly recommend you check that out. I'll be tagging it later on. Um, I have another broadcast, which I'll be airing probably tomorrow. I, I, I've got the link. I haven't posted it yet. Um, 
and also had an interview. I was on a summit today. So it's been a busy day for me, although the summit and the earlier interview were recorded weeks ago, so not the same thing. But I guess what I was coming back to and attempting to tie us back in together <coughs> is that in all three conversations, I did remember talking about how self-support, self-love, and self-honoring are, are hallmarks of people who are choosing conscious relationship. Conscious, authentic, open, transparent, real, ev evolving, awakened, all these fancy different words they mean the same thing to me. An authentic relationship is one that is awake, meaning that you are conscious of your own patterns, conscious of your own bullshit, conscious of your own habits that get in the way of you having a real connection. A real relationship that is based upon an authentic connection and, and, and um, intimacy, I use that word in this context, is a relationship that will set you apart from other people. The challenge is going to be finding someone who wants to do that with you. The number of people who want to choose, as I said, who want to choose authentic relationship are much smaller than the general population. I've walked that walk before, so I know. Um, the more that you do your own personal growth work, you have a look, evolving, healing, whatever you're doing, transformational, is you climb higher up this level of growth, which means that the dating pool, like a pyramid, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. This is the downside. The upside is the quality of relationship you get into means you probably won't be changing dating partners that often. For some people, dating somebody new every week is kind of their habit pattern, but they're at the bottom of the pyramid where there's basically lots of choices, but none of them are satisfying. The more you do the authentic work, the deep work yourself and healing and growing, then the, the higher up you go, the pyramid you go, as it were, up that slope so that, so that the, the dating pool gets narrower and narrower and narrower, there's less choices to make, and the quality of relationship you choose will be so much better. This is the level where some people would say it's soulmate connection, although I'm not a big fan of the term because I have a different opinion about soulmates. I've talked about that one before. But my point I want to really make it clearly is that an authentic relationship is one that you may never have chosen before. Doesn't mean you don't want to choose it. In fact, I'm highly encouraging to make the choice about being authentic, which is, as I said, about being awakened, to be transparent, to be in integrity, to live in your truth, to keep your agreements. Um, there's so many pieces to the puzzle. But if you look out, look up the word authentic in the dictionary, I'll give you a starting point. If you want to find out more of what I'm talking about, I do invite you to reach out for a conversation with me, a chat. I can give you some ideas. Um, and the biggest piece, I think, for me about authentic relationship is it's what is known as interdependent relationship. Because the reality is for a lot of people, they're tr you're tr you, maybe you, somebody you know, are trained in the paradigm of codependent relationships. We well, can't live with the other person. That if they if they leave you, you'll die, or some other extreme scenario, which is what most love songs and movies are taught about. People talk about love and relationships for the last 30, 40 years. Truth, authentic connection, aligned with that values means that you actually are fully owning who you are. Before you even walk in the door of a relationship, you honor and own and respect who you are. So in your relationship, you're actually at a much higher level of. Um, I would say vibration, but certainly of connection and con and um, self-respect, which is powerful. Now, I've got to tie this in, of course. One of the simplest tools I know, which I've actually offered and, and many people have used, is my self-love, actually it's a guided self-love meditation or mirror meditation practice. Let me try that again. It's the guided self-love mirror meditation practice. That's the full title which is guided because it has my voice guiding through a morning meditation and evening meditation as well as a written workbook that basically puts the whole thing in front of you. How does it go from day one to day 30 building a habit pattern and a practice of self-love mm. that will transform the experience you have in any relationship. When you learn to love yourself first, when you choose to love yourself first, when you remember to love yourself first, excuse me, the quality. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> At dinner tonight, I had jalapenos, 
I just burnt my throat. <coughs> How's that for transparent? <coughs> okay, let me get my thoughts in order before I summarize. <sighs> okay, let's try to finish that one off. Wow. <laughs> let me just say this. After eating jalapenos, when they come back up, it doesn't do your throat any good. So, here's <laughs> more information than you need to know, I know. So, let me wrap this up. I mentioned self love as being one of the fuel, um, one of the most powerful fuel elements you can use to build up your self esteem, which puts you in place for authentic relationship. It also gives you a place where being codependent on the other person is unnecessary. When you love yourself fully and embrace who you are and enjoy yourself, which is why I recommend myself, my self love practice. Your ability to give yourself fully into a relationship without giving yourself away in a relationship, different, allows you to embrace and accept and receive an amazing partnership that is far beyond what you've ever had before. You may have guessed I'm kind of passionate about this. I mean, I was even choking on it, that's how much it was meant to me. <laughs> Actually, not quite that, but yeah. So I'm going to put the links in the comments at the end for both for the um, for reaching out for discovery session as well as having my self love practice, which I recommend highly. I invite you to consider for yourself as a homework assignment, kind of like giving a homework out. Okay, home play, let's call it that. Is make a list of what you think a relationship should be for you, what you want it to be. The qualities, the um, experience, and what it takes for you to have what you want in a relationship. Start with that, because if you haven't done, haven't done it before, it's about time. Because choosing a relationship shouldn't be a random affair, it should be something intentional. Because when you do it intentionally, you can ideally get what you really want. So that is going to be your homework. I um, appreciate you being with me on this late night broadcast. It's a bit later than usual. I think, or oh, tomorrow might, we'll see. My broadcast is usually 5 p.m. Pacific time. I might start doing it in the morning when things are going. My afternoons are getting really, really full, which is why I haven't done one on time for the last five days, partly because I was in this workshop. Um, I was going to say, if you want to know more about the workshop, reach out to me. That, that isn't going to be re-announced for another few months because it's not until next year now. Um, but stay connected with me. Make sure you're following me. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day on Facebook Live. You can go to the broadcast somewhere in there. It should say, be notified next time I go live. Do that for yourself. You never know. It might be good. Um, tomorrow should be 5 p.m. Pacific time, but I'm not promising that. It might be 6. I have a, I have a commitment in the afternoon that may run late. Um, so Facebook Live... Replays go onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Also goes on my YouTube channel, which is, um, all my social media is my name, which is Barry Selby. So YouTube channel is, um, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, Hanley Penny included. <laughs> thank you, Lisa, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> it wasn't planned. Um, so, YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Again, my, my social media is my name Barry, is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages for the Masculine. We find all these broadcasts listed on YouTube. Um, you're very welcome, Susan. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you were here. Um, and also on podcast. I've now launched a podcast. Well, I've launched a podcast, and I'm slowly putting these on there in audio format. I'm way behind. But if you go to Messages for the Masculine on iTunes, you can subscribe to my podcast and download them there. If you want to listen to them when you're driving, whatever. And if you want help, reach out. I'm here to help you. And you gotta be willing to take the first move, which is reach out. So I'll put the links in the comments, sign up there, and then you'll have an opportunity to actually track what you really want in a relationship. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good night, because it is evening. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.